It's got a population of over 92 million people, and that's growing. Uh, it'll be 100 million people uh, by the end of this decade. Um, and it's a young, dynamic country. Um, more than half the, the, the people here in Vietnam are under the age of 25, and, and I think they're looking for a new experience. Bringing in sort of international brands like McDonald's helps uh, meet that uh, market demand and aspiration. Apart from the competition, what other challenges do you expect to face in the Vietnamese market? Some firms report difficulties operating in the country. Yeah, you know, I don't think the business challenges in Vietnam are that unique or, or different from any other uh, market, particularly an emerging market. Um, you know, when you run a retail food and beverage business like McDonald's, uh, one of the biggest challenges will always be real estate. Um, you know, we want to build, you know, beautiful restaurants where our customers can be comfortable and enjoy a meal with friends or family. Um, so finding those type of locations in a place that's growing so rapidly like Vietnam, I think will be a challenge. Uh, as it is elsewhere in terms of finding great locations uh, for our restaurants. What about sourcing high quality beef and other produce? And uh, are you worried about supply chain issues? You know, this is one of the great reasons to be part of the McDonald's system. Um, it's got a world-class supply chain. You know, with restaurants now in over 119 countries, um, we can take advantage of the type of quality sourcing and scale that McDonald's brings. Um, and obviously, in the beginning, we will be importing a lot of our food products, uh, raw food products, as we, we make food in our restaurant. But a goal of our business and, and, and of the McDonald's business in general is that, you know, we believe we're fundamentally local business. Uh, we want to help uh, develop local suppliers uh, as we serve uh, the customers and the communities in which we have our restaurants.